Meanwhile, at nine minutes after the hour, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie responding for the first time over a political payback scandal. Did his staff really shut down one of the nation's, if not the nation's, busiest bridge behind his back? Uh, WNYW Channel 5 reporter Lydia Serrana is live in Fort Lee with the very latest. Good morning, Lydia. Good morning. Actually, the GW Bridge is the busiest bridge in the world. On a good day, a 10 minute delay is great. People were stuck out here for hours. Now, there's a reason why I'm standing out here. Let me show you this because you see these three lanes right here, these three access lanes. They were reduced to one. Even on the bridge right there, three were reduced to one lane to that cash lane. So it was, uh, you had school buses and emergency vehicles out here stuck for hours. Now, Governor Chris Christie has denied having any involvement in purposefully shutting down the lanes, but according to uh, several New Jersey Democrats, they're alleging that the gridlock was intended as political payback because the mayor here, a uh, Democrat, did not endorse Christie's election. Now, the governor, he canceled an event yesterday, but he did release a statement. Let's look at that statement. It reads, what I've seen today for the time is unacceptable. I am outraged and deeply saddened to learn that not only was I misled by a member of my staff, but this completely inappropriate and unsanctioned conduct was made without my knowledge. Now, when these allegations first surfaced, Christie uh, actually made a joke about it, and he said, what do you think, I was out here moving the cones or something? Well, clearly, no one is laughing now. That's the latest here in Fort Lee, New Jersey. I'm Lydia Serrani. Back to you in the studio. All right, Lydia, thank you very much. Near the bridge that I go across twice a day. It's $13, by the way, to get on that right. bridge. The scandal is not that big, depending, as long as Christie's not linked to it. As long as there's no email that pops up that has him involved, it looks like a, a management issue. But it looks like it's amazing when you're out in front, how many people look to attack you when they see some vulnerability. Time for some news.